What's up YouTube? In this video we're going to take a look at another custom torsion differential. I'm going to show you how to build this, give you some examples of how to implement that in your own vehicle. And I'm also going to show you some of the advantages and disadvantages of this particular build. Now the original idea for this came from a channel called Max Bricks, so I've got the link in the description below for that. And on screen at the moment you'll see all of the parts used in this custom build. They're also linked in the description. Now in previous videos I've gone into a little bit more depth as to what a differential is, how it works and some of the differences between the standard Lego differential and a custom torsion differential. But basically a differential simply allows the wheels on a vehicle to turn at different speeds, enabling that vehicle to turn around corners without one of the wheels sticking. A torsion differential overcomes a problem that the Lego differentials have whereby they deliver all of the power to one of the wheels if the other one has any pressure put on it. And this just means that those wheels sometimes get stuck if you're trying to travel over uh, difficult ter terrain. Whereas a torsion differential simply distributes the power between the wheels a little bit more evenly, allowing it to overcome obstacles and work better over rough terrain. So let's get stuck into the build. I actually use two different size axles for this and it's only really because uh, if you use the same size axles uh, one of them comes out a little bit shorter on one side or the other comes out a little bit longer on the other side it just makes it uneven. Of all the different torsion differentials that I've built in this series this is probably one of the more fiddly ones and it does come with a significant number of parts I think it's about 44 parts in this build and uh, putting those together, uh, together at points can be a little bit tricky. In this particular build, I've actually used some different uh, axles with stops on them, uh, different at least to the original uh, video creator, um, Max Bricks. I just found that they're a little bit neater, uh, but you could equally just use uh, axles without a stop, to be honest, it really wouldn't make too much difference. Um, that being said, there are quite a lot of these little axles that you need for this build. This is probably the biggest downfall of this particular torsion differential and I'll cover this uh, with some examples a little bit later on but I just find that the um, axles and the worm gears tend to just not grip properly and they tend to slip out a little bit and they're not super stable and you can't use two of the axles with stops um, in place of the ones that go through the worm gears. Uh, just not quite enough room inside the mechanism for that and you end up with too much friction it just doesn't really work properly. But if you've got a solution to that, be keen to hear it, so leave that in the comments below.
This is what I mean by being a little bit fiddly. Um, there's quite a few little bushes. You've got to get onto the end of little axles that are kind of stuck in the middle of um, a bunch of half beams and it's pretty easy to have bits just ping off and kind of disappear into the ether. Also worth noting, as with all of these builds, you can actually just have half of the turntable at the end. So the uh, little grey uh, pin holes um, essentially just can be removed and you can install that differently into a device. So it depends how you want to actually implement that in a build. But here we've got an example of having that stuck between two frames. Because these axles are actually removable, uh, it is possible to put this through the frame itself and have it more securely located. Oh, for the purpose of this example, I've got it stuck between two frames. And you can kind of see here, obviously, that the wheels turn independently and then they start to grip, uh, which is what all of these things do. Other than that, it works like a pretty much a normal differential. Uh, but you might notice throughout this that the wheels itself aren't as stable on this. And I think if you were going to use this in a proper uh, build, then you'd probably want to compensate for that by building around it in such a way as to prevent those axles from falling out. But you can see here that essentially once it gets some grip, it will overcome obstacles and uh, allow you to travel or traverse a rough terrain. You can see here that if you apply a bit of pressure to one of the wheels, uh, the other one still turns and it moves forwards. And you can actually see here, it takes like a little moment for it to uh, kind of spool up before it kicks in when going, changing between forwards and backwards. And again, if you've got it stuck on a, on a bit of rough terrain, it easily, easily climbs over that. So this is the final product. Overall, I'd say it's a really nice little bit of uh, torsion differential. Uh, it's very well made, it's quite interesting to build. There are quite a lot of components to it, which I think is a downside. Um, there's not enough room for the uh, axles with stops, which also just makes it a little bit less stable. Other than that, it's a perfectly workable torsion differential. So if you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out some of the others in this series where we cover just a whole range of different types of torsion differentials. And a couple more videos in this series will showcase some different builds and also do a comparison between all of the builds in this series. Also, you can check out some of the previous episodes in which we cover what differentials are in more detail. And also do an in-depth review of the standard differentials that are provided by LEGO. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then click the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, or if there's anything you want to see me build or review in the future, leave that in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.